So in cleaning up my uh, collectible room slash office, whatever you want to call this place, I uh, decided I need to put away all my Star Wars comics, but I had all the figure variants out to catalog what I still needed and uh, finally, finally make a video. I've been threatening to make this thing for, God, literally like two years now, basically. 23 months. So I'm going to start off with the Star Wars ones and then we'll go into the other variations of other uh, uh, book series, but I don't collect the, the uh, sketch variants at all. I, that's just not in my budget for collecting. Um, they're cool, but unless, but this is number one, Luke. Kind of line them up in the back as we go here. Number two, Han. This one was pretty valuable. I don't know how it does nowadays, but this one I paid, I had to pay like 50 bucks for, maybe 40 bucks, something like that. Obi-Wan for number three. My favorite one by far. So the Boba Fett, I think I paid like 50 bucks for this one too. It's for number four. And then also from Star Wars 4, Chewy. And then number five, 3PO. Number six, R2. Seven, got a stormtrooper there. Eight Tuscan Raider. Star Destroyer Commanders number nine. See all my reaches in this thing. Ten Jawa. I have a feeling those are all going to slide forward in a second. Number eleven is Luke X-wing pilot. Yep, they're going to slide. 12 Greedo. Snaggletooth. Red one, not a blue one. I don't know if they actually, there's no blue one, but if you got that reference, then you're on the right channel. Death Star Droid, which is pretty cool because I've seen him in Rogue One trailers, which makes sense that you'd be in there. And we got Walrus Man, aka Ponda Baba. number 17. Number 20 is Yoda. I have the missing ones. They're just out of order because I don't have any more top loaders. So these are just bagged and boarded. I just got all these, so you probably saw these if you watched my latest pickup video. R5. Hammerhead. Gonk Gonk. That was 18. Best Leia, 19. Running out of room. Snowtrooper is uh, 21, Dengar 22, Hoth Rebel Soldier 23, Lobot 24, and then, so those are all of the, kind of pan through them real quick here, I can get this thing off the tripod. Those are the ones for just a regular Star Wars series. So I lo obviously I love the design of these guys. I think they're awesome. And then the ones that are not directly in the Star Wars Marvel series are Darth these aren't going to be in order because I just didn't sort them. But Darth Vader 24 is triple zero. Poe Dameron from Poe Dameron number one. Lando Calrissian from Lando one. We got C-3PO with a red arm from C-3PO, number one. That was a one-shot, that's not even a series. I have a double for some reason. But then this was a uh, one you had to buy through um, the artist's website. It's supposed to be like a mail away box of Luke, Leia, and Han. Um, it was from Vader Down, number one. And then this, this was probably one of my favorites. It's like the, a card back one, where it's got like one through uh, ten, and it says more coming soon. Uh, that's another Vader 1 variant. We've got Inspector Thanos, um, Vader 20, Vader Down 20. No. Yeah, Vader 20. Vader Down's only one. Uh, Darth Vader number one is obviously Darth Vader. 
Princess Leia, number one. Now this one, <laughs> I'm saving this one for last. Hopefully you couldn't see it. I don't think you could. I'm gonna save literally the, the worst for last, but Vader 22, Silo. Vader 25, the last issue, Dr. Afra. Two on, it's Vader 21. Yeah, BT1, Vader 23. Han Solo and Carbonite, this is from Han Solo number one. Now, we've noticed is no matter what movie, like obviously like in real life, there was not a, the figure of this would have had Return of the Jedi logo at the top, and then all the Empire ones would have had that. So it doesn't really bug me too much that they have that for every single figure, until you get to this one where it says Phantom Menace on it. Like why? Why can't it just say Star Wars? Either have them all in the correct card, which then you get into things like that don't actually, I can't think of anything that wouldn't have a, the correct card. Yeah, so, have them on the correct card. That, I didn't like that, but whatever it is what it is, one little tiny gripe out of all these great comic covers. Really like them a lot. Um, John Tyler Christopher is the guy who does all these and they're amazing, but that's my collection of them. I'm only missing like two or three and it's just, they're on their way or whatever. But thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and like the video if you made it this far. I am out.